Zambia in recent years has been hard hit by extreme weather conditions. Prolonged dry spells, sporadic flash floods and high temperatures are becoming more common yearly. These unprecedented weather conditions attributed to climate change are resulting in a wave of food insecurity. Agriculture remains the priority sector for economic growth for Zambia, uh, beside mining, and uh, over 80% of uh, food production is actually done by the smaller farmers. Um, however, uh, we are seeing that uh, production actually is being affected by changes in the climate. So there are several factors that uh, are contributing to the changes in the environment, climate change. Uh, one of the things that is changing, of course, is at the global level. The emissions that are being pumped into the atmosphere, those are driving the temperatures upwards. But also in terms of the impact that, that is happening on the ground, for example, you have now deforestation. People are cutting down trees. What's the impact? The impact is that, for example, if you have a forest, if you have trees and it rains, the trees will reduce, for example, the amount of water that will be evaporated from the soil and more water will go and recharge your, your, your ground, you have your reservoirs underground. The amount of forest that are surrounding uh, the villages are very depleted. If you look at the statistics you see that uh, southern province is third least uh, forested and also regeneration is third least, meaning because of um, probably the agricultural practices. When people are clearing land for farming, they usually burn down the trees to the root, so regeneration becomes a problem. Culture, yes. So, eh, if we impanga nga tuwa kwate impanga, imiti tula teme imiti, tula panga chitemene system. Elo kabili, no kocha kwa Malaysia. So, if imiti fionza fila mudesa ngefi kalamba, kula voku fiputawula. A slow and underreported environmental disaster perpetuated by deforestation and pollution. Climate change has caused a lot of uh, negative effects in Zambia. One of them we see um, late, late uh, start of the rain season. We see a lot of diseases and, 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 and insect pests that are coming out. Uh, a very good example is the armyworm, armyworm. The crops are unable to, to, to grow well because of uh, excessive rainfall. While in the southern part, uh, there's literally uh, droughts and, 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 and farmers are unable to plant. Okay, so for rainfall, we, are not, we haven't seen significant changes in terms of seasonal amounts. But what we have noted is the increase in, in temperatures, both minimum and maximum, and that is the, the thing that is driving the dryness that we, that we continue seeing. Also, what I can mention about the, the increase in the temperatures is that it will start, as it, if it continues, it will start affecting even the yields of uh, a number of crops because there are thresholds in terms of temperature that different plants can withstand, you know, above which they will start, their yield starts going down. One can be, for example, maize and wheat, the cereal crops, which are impacted by the changes in, 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 in temperature. And that has an implication on food security. I was in the city of 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 the city Michele, Kupidibuka. Mpula kumbuwe uku, ima tenga ntawe basi ya pita mitambu kwa zizi. Ima panga mitambu zizi. Mpaka mpaka sa ziwa. Ndiye basi timangu tika timfule mwe jitabwanji. Tambo zunda murungu. Murungu watikana. Numa ateka tinaunonga pitengo. Forest access 
absorbers of carbon dioxide. You know, carbon dioxide is one of the major uh, climate, greenhouse gases that causes global warming. And so, the more you have in the atmosphere of this carbon dioxide, the more you drive the temperatures up, the more the, the, the earth warms up. World Vision in Zambia has demonstrated ongoing experience implementing programming interventions to address climate change. SDG 15 focuses on sustainably managing forests, halting and reversing land and natural habitat degradation, combating desertification, and stopping biodiversity loss. Here at World Vision, we've seen that the promotion and implementation of Farmer Managed Natural Regeneration, or FMNR, as a low-cost, transformational, and sustainable land restoration technique used to increase the quality, quality of life for farmers in Zambia, it's yielding important environmental benefits. Farmer Managed Natural Regeneration, or in short, FMNR, is simply a process of management or regenerating of trees and shrubs from failed stumps, uh, sprouting root systems and uh, germinating seeds with the sole purpose or goal of uh, restoring degraded uh, landscapes and farmland. Basically FMNR is one of the cheapest methods that you can actually use to restore degraded landscapes. It's so cheap that some of the most uh, essential equipment that you need is just a hoe, uh, an axe, and, um, and uh, maybe a sickle uh, for you to actually trim and cut down some of the excess vegetation so that you allow the selected species of uh, trees to actually uh, grow faster and flourish. So FMNR by its core, it actually can be split into two main objectives. This is uh, FMNR done on farm and FMNR done off farm. Uh, the ideal picture that we would want to see of FMNR is that we would want to actually create more carbon sinks in our environment that will actually improve our micro uh, climate, climatic conditions for us to actually have improved weather and uh, uh, prevailing climate conditions in most of the communities. We also partner with other stakeholders with, uh, who share the same vision as government on forest restoration and management. And Wild Vision is one of the partners that are supporting us here in Imbeza. We work together in uh, identifying the farmers that have shown interest to pilot or to reserve some of the forests around their households. In the recent past, for example, we've been able to expand our observation infrastructure with support from the World Vision. We are now able to get, collect meteorological information, weather and climate information, and understand what is going on in certain areas. For example, we have about eight sites now uh, with, in collaboration with the, the World Vision. Uh, there are a number of them in Eastern Province, in Chinga, in Central Province, and Southern Province. I've been working with uh, World Vision, I think, roughly for three years now. Yes. So actually, what World Vision is uh, is doing, actually, it is supporting actually the government efforts. Uh, it's actually supporting the 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 Forest Act of uh, Number Four of 2015, also the SI of 2018, which promotes uh, community forestry and forest natural regeneration. The forest really does multiple things in terms of uh, reducing the impacts of climate change. It removes the, 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 the emissions in terms of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. It also provides some of the water vapor that is required to create the clouds that will fall as rainfall. But also it will protect the soil. When that rain falls, it will be able to be recharged into underground reservoirs. And that will provide into your boreholes the water that you will be able to drink. So the forest really is at the center, should be at the center of uh, trying to drive some of the impacts of climate change. In addition to providing FMNR and implementing FMNR in thousands of hectares of forest land and, and, and agricultural land, World Vision Zambia is also training communities in sustainable agricultural techniques 
and business skills to boost income for farmers so that they can better provide for their families and make a brighter sustainable future for their children. World Vision is implementing a project called Transforming Household Resilience in Vulnerable Environments uh, Thrive in Short, uh, whose goal is to contribute to improve the household resilience uh, in these vulnerable environments. Tenzo jua chijua jua mitengu. Mwuma penye lakari kuna kumalo kwa atu kuti mitengu wali malo malo. Sopo mwe ya buwe la thrive 2016. Tapunzila nkani ya kasungidoka mitengu. Tinapunzi wa punzi siwa inemene nini pa anu nabila kumapunziro. Naka punzila mwufuniko punzi sila wa ntumuno mwuzi mwa tumaka rumbi kuti titeteze mitengu. Project ita buwe la thrive. Anatira ngezo taa. Chitengezi wichifunika mitengu osa ononga. Mitengu wa funiko osa mala. Ndi ponso. Tenta yae. Sumo punzaya, etarova mutu. Aa, uno tinapanga na kagrupu tese, ndi hapo tinapanga kalangwa hili hapa hii. Kwa mapoyamba, wana chila ndira kuti uonanga chinalibe pindu. Kwa mene tita kwa hapa, pakala mutu hana wana wata, hango tivuta, hango tivuta. Kwa mata wana ta kwa hapa lomba, anawona tumitengo wanu, mene tukulira. Tu, anawona kuti tubowa. Tumeramo, anambo zindikira kuti mulipindu. Anadabwa tunhuza, tupese kamo. Tuvitole, tuja tufinkuwala, tupese kamo. Tuja sambulira tunhuni, anadabwa tatola, pikira tusima, tungono tungono tuja. So, anampe, wona mo pindu lomba, anakuru pilira za nkalango, ndiye chifuwa chake. Waika kwanzeru, upitisa kuti nkalango, ipitepa sogo. You know, most of these forest products are like pure wood. They are collected by women. And they have to spend a lot of time to collect firewood, to collect water. Now, suppose they brought, they are able to use uh, improved um, stoves that can use that are using the trees like they are doing now. It means that time they are supposed to go in the field, in, the, in to walk long distances to collect firewood is reduced, and they can spend that time to do other productive things. <laughs> tisonghe moto, tinaru uvutika. Koma kubwela kwa ya baba World Vision, pamene ya bwela hii programu, 2017, ndiye nkalango, ya mene inayamba kuno. Bari pano, World Vision, pamene tinaru ukonza hii nkalango, kuna bwela futi programu ya vimba ula. Vija vimba ula, nafuna wanu, pamene ana guapo, popanga hii nkalango, ndiye pamene ana yambilo otenga chani, vimba ula vija. Komadi zona zijamba ula, zati tandi za chifukacha hii nkarango. Chifukacha uti, sitiru vutika, ukafuna nkuni. Tu atende keno mba, ukula teka, nshimu, ngomu omu yumule mwona uli hapa. Then, kula bako kusombola, shila vika. Nshimu, shila vika mwobuchi. Then, mwumwaka, kula bako kusombola mwemi kushitiviri. Tu asombola, kula bako nomba ukushitisha. At least, tulechita kutunshi, tulechita kutunomba no. Tumufundo mkwa hivira fine. Our division is to talk about the people who are living in the world. The people who are living in the world are living in the world. The people who are living in the world are living in the world. The people who are living in the world are living in the world. This is how the models are telling us that this is how we are going to end up. By, by, for example, 2040, somewhere there, we find that on average our temperatures would have increased by more than 2 degrees, which will have very, very adverse impacts, which will have adverse impacts to a lot of other places. So all those things, for us, we are seeing that there is urgent need to, to take action. If we do not act today on climate change or the effects of climate change, our children will have no future and the, we should create an environment that will make these children have a better future through the preservation of our natural resources. For the benefit of the children.